Now, what was, what was the goal? The goal was that we take over the good practice that we had in, uh, in, the, in the former times and within Brooker really have a couple of things that we need to achieve when we do the transition and gonna be gonna come to Karlsruhe. We uh, wanted to serve our customers better than we did. Um, we wanted to have really synergies effect together with uh, the Bru within the Bruker family. There was a um, problem of space, space that was allowing us to grow in the future that this is not going to be a limitation very short time. Um, we had a big, big challenge. We already had um, um, an application center and a demo facility in Ma Mannheim, which was uh, used to be very, very nice and was very well accepted with our customers. We had, um, we wanted also more for the service because this was a limiting space factor in terms of what we can do within the, the facility. Um, and then there, there are two other aspects which are uh, beyond the German part. This was always a very uh, international lab. Uh, that we had so we really had to address that channel partners going to come join and be with us in that in that facility and then finally but very important as well it has to be for the for the people working with us so this is our home this is broker and it has to work for the individuals that they also have a good place to to live in yeah, if you now look in what we achieved now, this is just a small part that you see in here. I'm sitting in front of um, our uh, fast scan dimension system, which is, uh, let's say, the, uh, the, the top class product that we have. Um, we do have, um, we had to structure a lab and um, you're gonna see probably uh, pictures around that. We're gonna structure the lab such that it really addresses the needs with the, with the products that we have. So I'm sitting in the wing of that application center which is for the, for the um, AFM market. We have material science, we have polymer science, we have bio life science which is behind me. But the other, the other products need to be uh, represented as well. It's a new product family that joined beginning of the year which called TMT, so yes, we addressed that we need to grow or that there is an aspect of growing in the business. And we also have the stylus and uh, optical metrology products, which uh, um, are really good suited for the TMT. So the whole thing, the whole planning of that application center was to address that we can get uh, further we also addressing that we can have more people in here and this is something that we are gonna see tomorrow. Tomorrow we will have uh, 10, 50 people in front of individual tutorials and with the design and with the structure we are able to meet that and everybody gets a, a, a really good um, spot to understand what the system does, to see the monitors and things like that. Another big aspect with the new with the new um, facility was we need to basically have a good interaction within our own organization. So we have to have a good service, customer care center application um, close by, but also to be integrated within the Bruker Freedom family. This is already happening. So if we are today having a demo, um, we always get our customers around that they're gonna see the whole Bruker window here in Karlsruhe towards uh, what the material analysis as well as surface science instruments we're gonna do. They understand the, 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 the service structure within our organization and uh, vice versa if uh, our colleagues from, from the material science uh, having uh, people in, they are very often interested to understand what our range of product does and what it could do for them. So this is nicely addressed and this is really about the good part about really being in a, in a, in a, in a big family here. The future, what we are planned to do here is we started a kickoff thing today and for the future we are planning to have more events happening in this building. We are set up in the infrastructure that we can do very easy WebEx demos so customers that are so remote or uh, systems that are too difficult to ship for, for an individual um, uh, demonstration is very easily addressed with having samples in the house, with having these people locked up on the system and we can uh, give them uh, um, a, a, a demo on their samples locally while they do not have to travel. So that's another aspect that, that we address. Also the aspect of having more trainings 
uh, probably the customer care uh, team was talking about that, but now we also have in the application center the space that addresses training uh, in front of the systems, easy for a, a large group of 10 to 15 people. And uh, this is also very nice on the whole facility ground with having uh, infrastructure in, um, in uh, additional seminar rooms and uh, what is required to host you as a customer in our facility. For the products, um, this is now something I'm not gonna, gonna walk around, but we, this has happened. We, uh, as I said, I'm sitting in front of the BioFast scan. We do have a bioscope catalyst. We today have a long session on the peak force tapping technology, uh, which is uh, uh, which is going to be bundled for battery research or organic uh, solar cell uh, research with electrical modes. These are things that are happening today and is around the corner in the light wing. So we will do more of these events uh, as uh, time goes by and hopefully because at the very end of me you're going to see a dark room. This is a spot where we will have a Raman technology at one time doing demos for that facility.